Hey, so what's going on guys? Matt here with Drug Tech, back again with yet another video for you guys. And today, it's a really, really special day for me and a special day for many other people because today is the iPhone 12 series launch in Malaysia and I got myself right here, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And honestly, I didn't expect to get a 12 Pro Max today because actually my order, pre-order collection date is on the 18th of November but today is the 13th and I managed to get myself a 256 GB iPhone 12 Pro Max in gold however there will also be another Pacific Blue version of the 256 GB iPhone 12 Pro Max coming to me so I will have uh, two iPhones to compare but that got delayed so that will be after the 20th of November sadly but anyways the goal is something that I wanted to get first because I'm able to actually compare this to my current 11 Pro Max Gold to show you the differences in the gold color before you make your purchase decision. I know many people have already pre-ordered the 12 Pro Max and the 12 series in general. But to those people who are holding back from buying the gold because they think the gold is maybe too pinkish, uh, well, let's do a comparison later on through this video. So without further ado, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, do hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so you get notified on the latest videos which I post. And let's get right into the unboxing or I should say re-unboxing of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Alright guys, so I'm back. So right here I have the 12 Pro Max in this nice matte black box. As you can see, the plastic is sort of already loose because I had no choice but to unbox it at the store because they wanted to do some so-called checks and stuff like that which I was kind of um, annoyed because I mean I purchased this phone and it's my choice whether I want to unbox it at the store or not but anyways here it is I asked them to wrap it back and you know it's not going to be the same but I'll just quickly run through the unboxing and so on and so forth all right so let me peel the sticker again okay, nothing great all right so you can see this uh, nice uh, matte black box with the embossed iPhone 12 Pro Max on the top can see very similar to what i have with the iphone 11 pro max let me grab the box all right guys so right here i have the 11 pro max box because i bought the 11 pro max in gold this is my second 11 pro max as well because the first one i bought was uh space gray if i'm not mistaken but anyway you can see the size difference because the new iphone 12 pro max or 12 series doesn't come with a charger but anyway this way it is and of course you can see from here that the 12 is a lot bigger than the 11 pro max because even the box is slightly taller ever so slightly but uh, it is a good thing i like big phones all right so let's take a look at the side you can see right here the shade of gold is also quite different you can see this gold is very pinkish as compared to this gold which is more original gold color i should say Alright, so taking a look at the Apple logo on the top, you can see the Apple logo is also slightly pinkish. So that gives you a hint at the type of gold color that we are getting with the 12 series. So right here, let's put the 11 Pro Max box to the side. Let's unbox the 12 Pro Max. So I got mine in a 256 GB gold color. So let's take a look at the inside of the box. You can see this cut out to protect the camera module. And let me take out my 11 Pro Max on the case. Let me compare the camera size difference. So as you can see, the camera is a lot larger on the 12 Pro Max as compared to the 11 Pro Max. And I'm using a lens protector on the 11 Pro Max and yet the 12 Pro Max lenses are so much bigger. So that's a testament to what the hardware is because the hardware sensor size for the primary camera is also larger, which I'm really, really a big fan of because Apple's sensor size has always been small so the natural depth of field when you take pictures cannot compare to like the android devices because android devices like the note 20 ultra they give a very nice and artistic shot with the bokeh behind but now with the 12 pro max things are going to change all right so let's put the phone to the side let's see what else comes in the box all right so in the box you get a usb c to lightning cable which is the usual and last but not least some paperwork sim ejector tool and apple sticker all right so let's put that all into the sleeve and focus on the 12 pro max itself he has been activated and i haven't signed to my account so i don't know what to say and as you can see it's already been peeled so seriously i think they should stop doing that crap because i do not like my phones unboxed by other people because i do want to show it to you guys firsthand all right so on this sort of a screen cover you can see the features of the side button you can see volume up and down you can see the mute toggle and so on and so forth on the right side power button so they actually labeled it on this uh, nice 
paper feeling material all right so let's take a look around the device okay the highlight of the show which is actually the triple 12 megapixel camera and also the lidar sensor which i think will give really really awesome portraits which have less error in terms of the cutout so i do like the lidar sensor that's that's the reason to actually get the pro over the regular 12 because the regular 12 doesn't have the telephoto camera which is not really that important to me but it doesn't have the lidar scanner and honestly i do like the lidar sensor because it's more advanced as well all right so the cameras are right here the nice stainless steel gold side can we put it next to my 11 pro max you can see right here this has sort of a pinkish tone to it well as the 12 Pro Max Gold has more of a gold tone to it and honestly I think that if I do um, probably a matte black skin on the back I think that would really be nice because it will go well with the gold so it would be black and gold which I think is a very very good combo right so you can see this massive screen in front which I think it's very nice and I do like the iPhone 5 actually a lot of people say that this looks like the iPhone 4s but honestly in my opinion I think this looks more like the iPhone 5 series because the iPhone 4s chassis had a slight gap in between the screen and also the frame whereas the iPhone 5 everything was almost flush so it looks more like the iPhone 5 rather than the iPhone 4s but yes the design did start from the iPhone 4s so I think bumper cases will really bring back a nostalgic memory if you ever had iPhone 5, 5s or even the first iPhone SE so I think that's a really cool design I do like the rounded corners but for a change the flat sides are just eye candy to be honest and especially with this gold trim you can actually see the border I think it really looks sweet so I never regretted buying the gold first so actually I bought my Apple watch in blue to match the Pacific blue iPhone but most likely I'll be using the gold version anyways alright so this has been a very very quick unboxing so I'll be doing case reviews coming soon and right now actually while I'm doing this video I'm actually uploading a brand new accessory which I have which is a wireless charger and also a UV sterilizer so if you do want to check that out I will leave a link in the description below so that honestly in 2020 with the COVID-19 pandemic I think a UV sterilizer and a wireless charger is a very very good combo and besides the wireless charger uses USB-C input so that's a bonus alright so that concludes my video hope you guys like it if you did like it do hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this and I'll see you guys in the next video